Hey folks. So today we're going to assemble a Canon Magnum 10 downrigger. The process is pretty easy. Um, Canon sends the Magnum 10 and for that matter all of their electric downriggers with everything you need to get it put together, install it on your boat, and connect it and start fishing. So it's very efficient. Um, if you missed the unboxing video, make sure you go back and check out the unboxing video to see what comes in the box. Now what I like to do if I'm assembling a downrigger is I like to open all the packages, sort everything out. I've got you know my screws, I've got another set of longer screws, four washers, five lock nuts, a small screw, threaded screw, I've got a collar. Um, in the package there are some bolts and they're the same length but only one of them has a different head and that bolt is important to note because that's the one that you're going to be putting the telescoping boom onto the downrigger body okay we're going to assemble this thing all the way through we're going to get it completely put together run our stainless steel cable through the swivel and uh, even do the terminator kit Okay, so the first thing I like to do is go ahead and install the pulley on the end of the downrigger boom. So all we're going to do is we're going to find the two screw holes on the side of the base. We're going to line it up with the screw hole on the telescoping boom and press in. Now once that's in there, we'll take that single threaded screw and we'll start that. You don't need very many tools to assemble this downrigger. Number two Phillips screwdriver is needed. And while not necessary, uh, a pair of needle nose pliers were, are really going to help out when we do our Terminator kit. Okay, we don't want to over tighten, but I now have that threaded into the end of the boom. So we've installed our swivel head. If your boom is completely collapsed, uh, you're going to need to uh, expand it a little bit because you got a couple holes down here at the stainless steel part where it start is painted. You'll notice the difference there. You need to pull it forward a little bit until those holes are free and clear because that is how we're going to mount this telescoping boom onto the body of the downrigger. But before we do, there's a collar in here and this collar accepts this hook. And this hook, when adjusted properly, kind of serves as a fair lead to keep that downrigger cable straight on your spool as you retrieve it. Uh, so find the non-nylock nut. There's one nut in there that doesn't have any nylon in it. And we want to start it on this collar. Okay, don't thread it all the way through because you need to take this collar and slide it onto the telescoping boom. Now we're ready to go ahead and insert the, the boom into the body of the downrigger. So I want to find that one screw that has the smaller head and I want to place the boom with the holes oriented with the holes matching the body, slide in, and then I want to just get that screw started. There we go. So that screw starts, press it through to the other side, and right over here we can see on the plate side of the downrigger, we can see the threads of that bolt. And we're going to take one nylock nut and we're going to press in a little bit. Now this downrigger body has been molded to accept that uh, nylock nut. And that's going to hold it in place so you can use your Phillips screwdriver to tighten down the telescoping boom. Oh, that's about as tight as I can get it. Don't need to over snug it, uh, but that's about as tight as I can get it. Now, I will make one note here on these hooks. Uh, really, the orientation of the hook is going to depend on uh, which side of the boat you're going to mount the downrigger. So, if I'm mounting this downrigger on my port side of the boat, the downrigger will be out like this, the back of the boat's here. I like for this hook, I like the open end to be facing 
forward. That keeps the downrigger cable inside the hook and based on an adjustment that I can make, that'll act as a fair lead. So for now, I'm gonna set it up right there. I'm gonna tighten down on my nut. That, that way, tighten down on that nut. Okay, that's in place. Okay, so we have the telescopic boom attached. Now it's time to add a rod holder. So you can add a rod holder both on the right and the left side. Uh, let's go ahead and get this put together. Got teeth in here, a lot of adjustability for this, and I'm just gonna eyeball it for right now. You make your final adjustments when you're on the boat. Okay, so that's how she sits, right? Got the rod holder on, got her telescoping boom. Now what we need to do is we need to get this base plate and, and I'll show you how to attach it here, but really you want to install this on your boat first and then attach the base plate on the boat. So really and truly, this step comes later, but I do want to show you which screws to use when you're installing this. So four holes. There's four holes in the top of the low profile swivel. Just going to line these up. You have a set of eight bolts left. You're going to use the shorter set of bolts and you're just going to drop these into those holes. Okay. So the, nut, the bolts are inside there. And again, you do this step later at the boat. And the reason for that, I'll show you, is very simple. Just snug these down. Okay, so the reason this is done after you install the low profile base on your gunnel is this very simple reason. It's easier to access these screw holes without this plate on here. Is it impossible or is it possible to access these? It is, they will mount there, but you might need a little extra room to work. So your call, make that decision once you install the downrigger on your boat. So this is done. Set that aside. These other four bolts that we have, as I mentioned in the unboxing video, or maybe a little earlier, these are a little longer and these are designed to mount the low profile swivel base to your gunnel on the boat. Here's the thing. Your material uh, might require longer bolts. They're quarter 20 with uh, Phillips head, pan head type bolts. Uh, very common to find. Make sure you use stainless steel. Uh, it comes with some washers. You might need to add additional washers, maybe fender washers under the gunnel of your boat. You just need to make sure that it has a good base and it's solid and it's not going to flex. Say, for instance, if you're running an aluminum boat, don't want any flex there. Okay. So the last thing that we need to do to assemble our downrigger is to run our wire. And I've done a Terminator kit video before, so if you have more questions on that, check out that video on our YouTube channel. All right. 
like to leave the rubber band on there. Makes pulling this out pretty easy. I'll pull about that much and then we'll tighten her down. Okay. We have our downrigger wire run into through the pulley. Now at this point, if you're going to add a retro retrieve, which I highly recommend, this would be the time to put it on. Slide it on now, that way you don't have to take the pulley system on the retro retrieve apart to assemble it on your cable. We're not installing a retro retrieve today, so we'll go ahead and just put the terminator kit together. First thing we want to do, slide the boot onto the cable. Take our stainless steel clip, put it onto the black clip assembly. A lot of people ask, hey, what's this for? Well, this clip gets attached to the stainless clip, so this breaks the conductivity as your downrigger comes to the top of the water and you'll get stopped at waterline zero. All right. Like I said, for more video on how to rig a Terminator clip up close, watch our other video. But for now, I'm just going to put this one together so you can just see. It doesn't take any time to, to assemble a cannon downrigger. Thread that through there. through our next hole. All right, that's out. I like a little extra room to work with. Now we're going to come into our final turn. We're in there. All right, so now I'm backing things out, backing out. Okay, we got that on there. Backing out, coming down onto Terminator, that's snug. Now, press down. Boy, that one went together with my hands, no problem. It's tight. But sometimes they're a little difficult, so you can use your needle nose pliers and lock that on. Take our boot, slide down onto the Terminator. Then we'll take our insulated clip. Close that up, there you have it. There's our Terminator kit with the insulated clip. Now we're ready to put on a downrigger ball and start fishing. That's it. That is how simple it is to assemble a Canon electric downrigger, specifically the Magnum 10. Uh, this is a great downrigger, does a great job. It's got a great entry price if you're new to electric downriggers. Uh, you can get away from that hand crank um, and focus more on fishing and be more efficient doing that. Until next time, thanks for watching.